Assalamu alaikum my dear students today we are going to talk about sexual reproduction in fungi sexual reproduction occurs in all the groups of fungi except fungi imperfecti or deteromycetes except deteromycetes all other groups of fungi they show sexual reproduction and the process of sexual reproduction involves fusion of two compatible nuclei or sex cells belonging to opposite strains say these are two sex cells one belonging to positive another belonging to negative okay that means they belong to two different types okay had it been positive the fusion of these two cells it will be impossible it has to be negative here only then these two cells they can mix up they can fuse with each other the gametes in uh, fungi they are produced in specialized structures which are known as gametangia and these gametangia this is very much important they are unicellular and not surrounded by any sterile jacket they don't have any outside surrounding cells the process of sexual reproduction it involves three different phases it is completed in three different phases one is plasmogamy then karyogamy and finally meiosis so what happens during plasmogamy fusion of two different cells the or you can say a fusion of cytoplasms of two different cells occurs and this results in the formation of a dikaryon here these are two different cells their nuclei are different they fuse with each other their intervening walls break down and this results in the formation of a structure where the single cell contains two different nuclei okay or you can say two different nuclei they come to lie in the same cytoplasm okay this structure is known as dikaryon now what happens to the dikaryon the two nuclei which are present in the dikaryon they come close to each other they fuse and this results in the formation of a synkaryon or a diploid cell okay these two nuclei they fuse and result in the formation of synkaryon and finally the synkaryon or you can say the diploid cell it undergoes meiosis and you know what is the outcome of meiosis it results in the formation of haploid cells four haploid cells rather and these haploid cells each containing one set of chromosomes they give rise to spores which are known as meiozoospores and these meiozoospores they give rise to fungus back okay they produce the fungus which is haploid so the whole uh, life cycle of fungi it is completed in three uh, it is uh, it goes through three phases plasmogamy fusion of cytoplasms and formation of dikaryon second is karyogamy fusion of two nuclei uh, and formation of synkaryon and finally meiosis the uh, formation of haploid nuclei okay and the formation of haploid fungus so uh during meiosis the diploid nuclei it results in the formation of four haploid nuclei and these haploid nuclei they get converted to spores which are known as meiozoospores because they have resulted as a consequence of meiosis and these meiozoospores they form the fungus back now uh in higher fungi the dikary uh Uh, sorry the karyogamy is delayed and the fungus remains dikaryotic for some period of time here you can see these are two different uh mycelia okay one containing each nuclei in each cell these are two different primary mycelia here the hyphae of these two different uh primary mycelias or mycelia they mix up here and this result in the formation of a dikaryotic cell here and this dikaryotic cell it divides further okay it divides further and results in the formation of dikaryotic mycelium where each individual cell contains two different nuclei okay yahan pe immediately fusion nahi hota hai in a stead the dikaryotic cell divides and results in the formation of many dikaryotic cells this phase in the life cycle of fungi is known as dikaryo phase and after uh, some point of time after some period of time uh, in some specialized cells the two nuclei fuse 
that means karyogamy takes place after a span of time okay so you can say uh, you can uh, say that in higher fungi karyogamy is uh, delayed and the fungus remains in dikaryotic phase for a longer time period now the different modes of sexual reproduction how sexual reproduction occurs in fungi it occurs uh, by a number of methods the first one that we are going to discuss is planogametic copulation in planogametic copulation one or both the fusing gametes they are motile okay you have to remember that in planogametic copulation either one or both the fusing gametes they are motile ya to ek motile ho sakte hain ya dono motile ho sakte hain okay it has different types subtypes isoplanogametic copulation in this type both gametes are motile and morphologically similar example synchytrium here you can see these are two different uh, gametes belong to two different strains okay but they are uh, motile as well as morphologically similar they have same size same shape okay this is known as isoplanogametic copulation now it is second subtype is an isoplanogametic copulation here the two fusing gametes they are flagellated and morphologically similar they have same shape but they differ in size example is allomyces you can see at the top they have same shape they are both motile but one is smaller and the other one is big okay other one is here it is bigger than this one then we have another type subtype it is oplanogametic copulation here the male gamete is small and flagellated while the female gamete is large and immotile you can see here this is oplanogametic copulation male gamete is smaller and motile it contains a flagella and the female gamete or egg it is immotile it is present inside this gametangium it is immotile and it is large the second uh, mode of sexual reproduction in fungi it is gametangial contact in this type the male gametangia or male gametangium it sends a fertilization tube through which non motile male gamete migrates into the female gametangia example is phytophthora and albigo here you can see this is male gametangium or you can see anthridium okay it sends a tube fertilization tube and this fertilization tube help us in the movement of male nucleus which is non motile from this anthridium to the oogonium or female gametangium okay and the example is phytophthora and albigo the third uh, mode of sexual reproduction in fungi is gametangial copulation here two gametangia fuse and they lose their identity in the sexual act they lose their identity in the sexual act and thus they form a structure which is known as zygospore here you can see this occurs in mucor and rhizopus the two gametangia here one and two they come close to each other they come close to each other they fuse their contents mix they lose their identity and the resulting structure is known as zygospore which later on uh, undergoes meiosis okay then we have the fourth type spermatization in this type minute spore like bodies or minute spore like structures you can say which are known as spermatia they are transferred to receptive hyphae of female gametangium these spermatia they are transferred to receptive hyphae of female gametangium the contents of this spermatium they get transferred to the receptive hyphae and this brings the fusion of two different nuclei okay this occurs in paxinia gramens i will repeat this one 
Spermatization is another mode of uh, sexual reproduction in fungi. Here, minute spore like structures or minute spore like bodies they are produced in male gamete tangia. Okay, these are known as spermatia. These spermatia they get dispersed, they get transferred to the receptive hyphae of female gamete tangium. Here, now they, their contents they get transferred to the female gamete tangium or uh, where the two nuclei they come to, to lie next to each other and they ultimately mix, they ultimately fuse and this occurs in Paxinia gramins. And finally, somatogamy. This is the last mode of sexual reproduction. Okay. Here the sex organs, uh, they are not present, they are not formed and the fusion of two vegetative or somatic hyphae takes place. Example, agaricus, here you can see there are no sex organs but the fusion of nuclei takes place as a consequence of fusion of two different hyphae okay these are this is one uh, type of mycelium this is another type of mycelium these are primary mycelia okay one belonging to positive strain another belonging to negative strain okay they the hyphae belonging to opposite strains they mix up results in the formation of a dichaerotic hypha okay and this dichaerotic hypha divides and results in the formation of secondary mycelium or dichaerotic mycelium. Okay, so these are the different modes of sexual reproduction in fungi. Uh, this is all for today. Uh, in the next part, we are going to talk about the different groups of fungi. Till then, stay blessed and God bless you all.